Hello, it's Sonia back again here and um, I've had a few requests from people on YouTube to show you how I've been doing my collage um, doodle dogs to actually show it on video of me doing it and I've never done one of these before an actual um, art in progress video so uh, hopefully this turns out okay. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if they're going to look any good or, you know, <laughs> what's going to happen with this, but I'll give it a try. Um, in my last video, I showed you my dog collage uh, little characters uh, where I just used a little bit of magazine that I tore out and made some little uh, character dogs, some doodle dogs. That sounds a bit rude, doesn't it? <laughs> some doodle dogs. <laughs> uh, yeah, some doodling dogs out of it. So um, I did finish the last three in the book. I just quickly did that one, which was terrible. This one and this one here. <laughs> Quite like this one. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to get back to more of this kind of scribbly uh, look. Um, so we'll see how we go. I haven't, like I said, I haven't done this for years. So we'll see. So I've just uh, ripped out some bits of paper from a magazine just with prints on it in any random shapes. And I'll go ahead and glue them down. So the trick is to not think about what shape you're doing it in, like how you're putting the paper down. You not to think about, oh, that looks like a head or that looks like a leg just yet. You just got to be really <laughs> random with it. So like I said, I don't know how these are going to turn out. They could be absolutely atrocious <laughs> I don't even know at this stage whether or not I'm going to make them all into dogs or if I shall make a cat or a bird or rabbit I don't know I'm just gonna have to go with what you know feels good so there see how quickly I did that I wasn't thinking about it just got the pieces of paper down on the paper I'm just going to pull in my chair a bit so I can actually feel comfortable. Right, here we go. So this is the stage where you start looking at the pieces of paper that you have and start thinking, now how can, if it's a dog you want to do, how can I turn this shape here into a dog? Now it's really easy to fall into the trick of thinking, um, like for example this one, to think, Oh, well, this part is a head and this is the nose um, and this is the bottom of the dog. That's really easy to fall into, but that's not what you want to do. You only want to use this scrap paper for kind of the body of the dog, like um, a part of the dog. So, yeah, you're not going to use this part as the head because that's too obvious. You still need to draw a head. So you've got to look differently than that. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, it can be a bit tricky. So uh, what am I going to do? I might start on that one. Um, so I might use this as this section here as a bit of the neck. Um, so he's coming down like that. Um, I'm just going to do some ears up here and maybe he's kind of and it's supposed to be really sketchy and just playing around with it you're just having fun so he's kind of maybe having a snifter to something here on the ground and then you can do your eye however elaborate you want the eye you might do some dots here so this is the back of him Okay, so now this, I can now do this into like a leg. 
And there's my own dog barking. <laughs> um, and you can do two legs. You can do all four legs. <laughs> Well, six legs if you want. You can make it into an alien dog. But um, you can do long tail, a short tail. I quite like these short little tails like this. <laughs> and this is just going, yeah, I'm waggling at the moment. And then you can get as detailed as you want. You can kind of sketch in a bit of hair if you want. You can do whiskers. It's quite a prominent nose there. Yeah, and I think he looks quite good. Maybe he's got a bit of a collar on. Let me give him a bit of a collar. And he's got his little dog, his dog chain there. So that's my first dog. And you know, I only gave him two legs. <laughs> and this leg's kind of up in the air. He's doing like... Actually, I have seen some dogs do that, where they're standing on their front two legs <laughs> um, and got, you know, their back legs in the air. Have you ever seen, like, videos on YouTube of that? Well, dogs do do that, so I'm going to leave him like that. <laughs> He's a circus dog. Yeah, so that's my first one. So did you see how I fought against using that section as the head? Like I thought, no, I'm not going to do it. So, okay, we'll pick another one now. Um, i pick this one down here. Um, and I never know, like... Some, you've got to look around, you go, okay, can that be a head? Or maybe the head's down here, or maybe it's over here. I think I'm going to have to do the head over here. Um, and I never know what shape either. I just start drawing, just, just start drawing. Okay, it's going to be a... I haven't stuck that down properly, but I'm going to give him these big floppy ears. Big eyes. So these are not meant to be realistic. I'm just going to. Definitely not realistic dogs. These are just cute little characters. And if you like drawing like cartoons and characters and you want to get into this sort of drawing, this is the best way to do it. You don't have to use like these bits of paper. You can just draw a random shape if you want to. But I just like adding the colour. Like how good does that look like with the colour there? And sometimes it even looks like they've got little coats on. So that's always cute. But yeah, so... I'm going to keep going with this one. Mm. And just got these little legs down here. And then he's kind of sitting like this, I think. And then his tail is coming around like that. He's got a long tail, this one. <laughs> I have no idea what sort of dog that is. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It's a character dog. It's a dog bear. <laughs> it kind of looks, I don't know. But it's, it's kind of cute. <laughs> But you know what I mean, you know those dogs with the long ears and that sort of biggish nose. There must be dogs out there like that, isn't there? <laughs> oh, my dog is barking in the background. <laughs> it's, um, sorry she's barking, it's actually um, school time for the kids and they walk past my house to school and <laughs> this time in the morning it's like hit and miss. Like if there's a kid going past, she's going to be barking. <laughs> Okay, so uh, maybe let's do this one now. 
So, okay, already I can see like if I did a head here and that's a leg, but then his bottom would be up that way. So I don't want to do that. I'm going to do pointed ears again. He's going to have his head in the air like that. I'm pretty simple. That's my little doggy, Lulu. Lulu! <laughs> she's, she's running. Can you hear her? Tip, tip, tip on the floor. Lulu, stop your barking. So, yeah, we have this. Maybe some, some whiskers there. So don't think about it too much. Just if you don't know how to draw a head, like I really don't know how to draw dog heads half the time, just start with the ears. Just go, is it short ears? Are they pricked ears? Are they long floppy ears? Just start with the ears. I find that kind of easiest. Um, and then he's going to have, he's going to have long legs. You see, just like that. He's going to come down. I don't know. Has he got another back long leg? It's going to look like a kangaroo now. And he's got a little bit of a tail that's going up. And I kind of like, I don't know why, but I just kind of like adding these. Um, I like it to look sketchy. And I like adding these kind of crisscrosses sometimes. <laughs> I don't know why, I just like that look. So you can scribble as much as you want on them. Sorry, that was out of camera. These bottom ones there, but this is how I did it. I'm so sorry, I didn't realise that was out of, out of the camera range there. But yeah, you can see how I... Did those ones and I'll keep going. So uh, let's have a look. This one here is gonna have his head coming down. You can do all sorts of shape heads. Um, his dogs do have all sorts of shape heads. He's got an ear there, and he's got an ear over there. And he can come out. That's kind of his tail. Leg there. Another leg here. Simple as that. Done. And you could make <laughs> literally thousands of these so quick. And I don't know why I like doing dogs, I think, because maybe I'm just so familiar with dogs, like I've always had dogs in my life. It's just a shape that's bored into my head that's pretty easy. Um, probably if I was a cat lover, it'd be cats that are, you know, so easily in my brain. But for me, it's just, you know, it's dogs. Um, so here we have a shape. Hmm, let's look at this one. I mean, you might look at this collage piece and go oh I can see it straight away but for me I might be looking how to make it differently than you um, this one I'm finding a little bit hard and sometimes what Carla suggests is turning if you can't see something sometimes if you turn your book around and then you'll be able to see something but then I think oh yeah but then won't your picture be upside down <laughs> And I don't want my picture upside down. So, um, I'll leave that one for now. Let's have a look at this one. Okay, so I'm going to go up this way. That's the neck. And around the ear here. 
pointed face, the nose. You can do the eyes however you want. And then he's got his, that's his leg and this is his paw. He's kind of, you know, he's, he's lounging. This dog is lounging. Um, not sure, maybe his leg's going out this way. That's no, coming around. Yeah, he's a loungy dog. <laughs> well, you got to laugh when you do this, seriously. You have to laugh and think, oh yeah, it's as long as they kind of look like a dog. <laughs> That's the main thing. But yeah, I just had that request to um, show you how I did these. So I hope I'm inspiring someone to... <clears throat> doodle with some collage um, and then the last one which has really got me stumped this shape here hmm That's a funny shape, isn't it? That's not doggy shed at all. Maybe it's going to be a bird, this one. Some sort of... <laughs> Maybe it's going to be some sort of... Hmm, he is a stumpy one. Don't know what to do with this bottom half here. I just thought, oh, it's curving around like this. Maybe it's wing is kind of around here. Really don't know with this one, so we'll put a big question mark. <laughs> That's going to happen to you, you know, it, it might just happen to you. So it's a very um, squarish pattern. So, yeah, just couldn't work with that one in the spare of the moment. But I think my doggies turned out quite well. What do you think, everybody? But that's how you do it. And as you can see, I mean, that's just taken me... Um, a few minutes to do what's it been it's been like 18 minutes and that's sticking them down and um, thinking it out and doodling them in so um, this is just in my um, sketchbook I'll just show you through my sketchbook if you want it hasn't got much in it um, I started it uh, a little while ago um, it's got bits and pieces I've torn things out so some things are missing but <laughs> Um, this was an exercise I was doing where uh, it was on characters um, and I found a picture of a woman that was already amusing in a magazine. See ya. <laughs> I thought she had a very a great character face to start with. So uh, I started with this uh, image here and then my task was to kind of amplify her features so I kind of here I made her lips you know like she's about to give a kiss and kind of made her nose you know very big and I I drew pointy bigger pointy glasses on her um, so that was my uh, first attempt I gave her a big chin and that um, but down here is my one where I worked on that further and came up with this character here. So I came up with my own character based from this lady in the magazine. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, I like making up my own characters. Like, And this says, I actually put the date, 
Very good of me. 19th of November 2014, I did this. Wow, <laughs> that was longer ago than I thought. Um, so yeah, from that I got this character here. So I really amplified her hair and, um, you know, made kookier glasses and, you know, really made a strong nose and yeah, I really like that. Then here, oops, Lily, nearly sloshed over a whole glass of water. Here I was working on, on poodles. I picked poodles. I wanted to make a character poodle. So again, I just printed off some images of, these are all show poodles off the internet. And I had to draw them from the reference. So looking at the reference, I had to copy the picture. So these are all uh, copied basic sketch sketches from the picture. And then once you had done the copied it from the reference, then you had to draw it from memory. This has got nothing to do with Carla Sondheim. Sorry, this is, um, I don't know where I saw this. <laughs> it's just something, you know, that I saw. I don't know, it may have been on YouTube, it could have been on the internet, I'm really not sure. But you can do this exercise if you like drawing characters as well. So you draw it from reference, then once you've done that, you cover up those two pictures and then you have to draw it from memory. So that's my picture from memory and that's my picture from the reference. So they're pretty similar. Um, again, um, did it again here and then again um, down here so I think I did pretty well from from my memory so that was some little exercises that um, you could also do if you like drawing and doodling um, <laughs> then from that poodle I made this uh, character um, just yeah again just amplifying features made the no nose really pointy and made the thing on the head very long and <laughs> amplified her bottom things like that and then <laughs> I actually did she did a jobby there <laughs> oh, I can't believe I put that there I even colored it in it says be a darling and pick that up <laughs> because she's so prim and proper <laughs> Again, that was on the 20th of November, 2014. And then from that, um, I did this other character poodle down here. And there's nothing under there. It's just the marker went through. So I stuck this on. And from that, I did some simplified characters because I wanted to do, uh, make uh, my own little poodle character. So from all of that drawing, then I got Mindy and Monique and um, they are my simplified poodles, uh, my own little characters. And I thought they turned out really cute. And I actually um, want to I'll probably put it down here. It'll probably look better. I actually wanted to um, make these into stamps. I'm probably going to make them into foam stamps so I can stamp them everywhere. But I think Mindy and Monique are so cute and I'm really happy with how they turned out. Um, this here I was watching a fantastic uh, cartoonist um, called Will Terrell, I believe it is. Uh, I used to watch him quite a bit and um, he sits and he goes into, he's so funny, he makes me laugh. And if you listen to his laugh, <laughs> it's the funniest laugh I've ever heard. It just makes you laugh along with him because it's such a jolly laugh. And uh, it just, he makes me really happy listening to him. Well, he goes into supermarkets, he sits in cafes and bakeries, and he will tell you this story about this couple that he saw walk in and... And he will study people and uh, he will tell you these hilarious stories about what they were talking about or what they were wearing. And he will quickly sketch them without them knowing. And then he will go home and he'll work on his sketches. And he also likes to do these cartoon type looks 
you know, he amplifies the ears and the nose and things like that. So um, I basically made my own character up, this uh, fella here with his <laughs> walking frame. I don't know why I did a guy with a walking frame. I just, <laughs> but yeah, this old grandpa here. <laughs> Every time I look at his face, I think, mm, he's checking some ladies out. <laughs> Anyway, that was back in uh, November 2014 as well. Then I went through, like everyone, the whole uh, zombie craze. I was watching probably The Walking Dead and um, there was a movie that came out. He was a zombie. I can't remember what it's called, but he had a red jacket on. I remember that. He had a red jacket on. And to cure everyone from being zombies, all they needed was to be shown love. So this is dedicated to that movie. <laughs> so he's trying to catch, he's trying to catch the heart. And I put all you need is love. It's my little zombie. Uh then here, yeah, I was just having some more poodles and I did all doggy stuff in the shape of a dog. <laughs> I don't know why, but can you see that's the shape of a dog? And it's all like bones and balls and cats and a dog house. <laughs> Got a dog's life. Yeah, so I did that. Uh, this is when I got into, this is April 2016, with a question mark. <laughs> this is when I got into uh, botanical drawing. Um, and this is a marigold out of my garden. And just use some pencils to colour that in. And that's just uh, using my um, coloured pencils and using a Tombow blender or a white pencil or both to kind of change the look of the of the uh, colored pencil um, here is a morning glory again this is April 26 2016 this was just a leaf off of the fence from my neighbor so I kind of just drew that one day um, this is a bit of homework I did yesterday because I didn't use this page a bit of homework from Dee Dee this is mind mapping and what she suggested you do was you randomly picked some collage images. Actually, she set up for homework, I think, uh, with an image in the middle. So I did that without looking. I went through my little pictures box and I just randomly picked these pictures out. And then what you have to do is see how that each thing relates. So kind of what I did was make up a little story to, to see how it related. So I said that the bee was related to the bird because they're best friends and they like to go traveling together. And then the bee stopped for a rest on the uh, cross statue uh, while he was traveling. Um, pears are his favorite food. He hitched a ride on his travels uh, with the suitcase. So it's a good way for a bee to get around is on someone's suitcase. And then in his travels, he nearly got uh, baked into the batter. Um, yeah, when he fell in the cake mix of the cupcake. <laughs> um, then he met some new friends on his travels until he realised that they weren't real. Because they didn't move, the cat statues. And then he travelled around a bit more on the pointy shoes. And I drew the bee there. And then what you have to do is how does the bird relate to the statue, the statue relate to the pair, the pair to the suitcase, and you have to relate those. So you just make up these little stories and it's just a way to help people either write, and I'm not a story writer, or how to make, you know, some new ideas for art. So, you know, so now I can look at this and I can, if I get stuck for ideas, I could go, well, I'm going to draw some pointy looking shoes like this with this B on the top like this, but as in a nice sketch. Or I could draw the B, you know, in the batter of the cake or, you know, it's just to kind of give you ideas. I'm not sure if I did that correctly like Teddy wanted, but that's how I did it. 
Uh, what else have we got? I did this sketch of this rose. Um, yeah, not sure about all this crisscross stuff around the outside. I think I just got bored and started doodling. Um, yeah, just some leaves there. And then again, this is a mind mapping list uh, from Dee Dee. Um, personal occupation I've put here. Places, things and colours. Um, so you would go, okay, just pick randomly something here uh, without looking. Right, this. Okay, a fish in a theatre with a picnic bench and the colour yellow. So I would have to, you know, try and draw, you know, a fish in a theatre. Maybe he's watching a movie. Um, and in the theatre, he's sitting on the, there's picnic benches as chairs in the theatre, that sort of thing. So it's like an idea generator. There's some more stuff from Dee Dee in one of her really old videos. I think it was from early last year. Uh, and I wish, hopefully Dee Dee, if you're looking, please more sketchbook videos, please. <laughs> um... Yeah, drawing and sketching animals and then inking out the background. So I just sketched these three rabbits um, from a reference. And then I came up with a simplified rabbit over here. And also over here, I really like this idea and I want to do this in a bigger sketch. Um, I came up with this little rabbit that's standing up in his overalls and then he's got I kind of drew this and it was like oh that looks like a fishing rod and then I drew some carrots in the ground thinking oh yeah rabbit carrots and then I thought oh yes look the rabbit is fishing for carrots in the ground because he can't see you know I don't know <laughs> I suppose he can see the tops of the rabbit uh, the carrots but um, that's how he gets his carrots out with a fishing rod Maybe the carrots are alive and they've got little faces and emotions and they're like fish and, you know, they wiggle around and you have to hook them. <laughs> I don't know, but this is what Dee Dee said. You know, you come up with these ideas and write it down so you don't forget. So one day I'm going to do this in a nice big um, big picture and I'm going to do the um, carrot fishing rabbit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so thank you, Dee Dee, for that. And so now we're back to this page with my doodle dogs. I'll call it doodle, doodle dogs. And I'm going to write June 2017. And now you're all up to date. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any comments, please let me know. Please subscribe. I'll try to do some more um, art videos um, while I'm actually doing them like this because it kind of turned out okay, didn't it? Um, big hi to Heidi, my dear friend Heidi. Um, yeah, you got you got happy mail coming tomorrow, girl. <laughs> Well, today, I'm sending it today. You probably won't get it tomorrow. What am I saying? Yeah, probably in four days like last time. Okay, so thanks everyone for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe. And um, yeah, I always try to reply to everyone's comments. Have a great day. Do some doodling or get the kids out and get them to do some doodling. Um, just have fun. Bye.